It only gets better. Introducing the world's greatest lopper. This is the G2 lopper. Let me show you from the top to the bottom. First off, it has an elastic stay that keeps that nice and locked. Secondly, it's, the arms are made of aircraft aluminum. They're contoured for extra strength. Obviously, you see they can lock in different positions to give you that extra height and that extra leverage. The arms are replaceable. It's the first lopper with replaceable arms. So if you were to bend or break this arm, just remove those bolts, send me an arm, I'll send you a new arm. The knife, also replaceable, made of SK5 hardened carbon steel, just like all our tools at Easy Cut. It's the best materials you can find for cutting. It's also non-stick coated, so it's gonna give you, it's not gonna gum up, and it's gonna give you that nice clean cut. The jaw, hybrid jaw, which is also removable, gives you a nice clean cut next to the tree, so it protects the bark next to the tree, but it has an aggressive tooth profile next to what you're cutting off of, it'll bite into that branch. Our spring is replaceable as well, and it allows you to have access to it. Put the limb deep into the G2's jaws. Squeeze both handles. Let the rend handle out, up to the ratchet, squeeze. Up to the ratchet, squeeze both handles. Ratchet, squeeze. Squeeze. A limitation with all loppers on the market is that you lose actual cutting capacity as you try to get maximum height. Watch as I open this lopper up. Notice the blade doesn't open up right away. It's still not open wide enough to cut really any significant branch. Even at the widest, I'm not really cutting to, lar to the largest capacity. Notice how I lose all my height when I go to full wingspan. With the maximizer lever, clip it in, give it some slack. Now watch the blade open quickly. Now I can get maximum cutting capacity and maximum height. The Easy Cut G2 Lopper. The Dual-Link Max Forge Bypass Lopper combines lasting durability with making cutting easier. Its forged steel blade maximizes the tool's long-term sharpness and durability. Dueling's unique compound lever amplifies cutting power to minimize the amount of force needed to make the cut. It's a basic machine principle where energy is transferred from one lever to another. So Dual Link can maximize cutting force while minimizing the amount of effort needed to complete the cut. Other Dual Link features include an integrated shock guard bumper system to reduce shock and fatigue. Let the Dual Link advantage empower you to achieve the results you want. Its unique, patent pending drop forge design incorporates ultra sharp, lightweight head shears, a powerful bypass lopper and a unique attaching prune saw, offering you the ultimate convenient and versatile gardening tool. Everything in one product. The Rome Wild Multicutter extends to over four feet, allowing you to reach and prune those high up hedges and branches. There is also no need for that dangerous pruning up a ladder. With the extending arms and unique attaching pruning saw, you can do it all by simply standing on the floor. The bypass lopper can cut thick branches, so when you are using the Rome Wild Multicutter, you do not have to stop to tackle larger and thicker branches. You can simply move between the lightweight head shears and the bypass lopper, making easy work of any pruning task. The unique secondary red grips on the handles allow a more balanced feel to the tool when tackling finer pruning jobs. This gives you much more control and accuracy. These many features combined make the Rome Wild Multicutter an incredibly versatile garden tool. It is super lightweight and really safe to use. The unique attaching pruning saw also acts as a safe blade guard 
to prolong the life of the blades and allows you to store the tool safely. The saw also has a clip feature to allow you to attach it to your pocket when not in use. The pruning saw attaches and detaches with a simple clip system. As with all Romewild products, the high quality and innovative functionality of this product will not let you down and the product is built to last. Whether you're going to be shaping large shrubs and hedges, trimming ornamental grasses, or cutting back trailing vines, Corona's tools meet the needs of homeowners with a diverse line of specialty products built to exacting standards of craftsmanship. Corona's Comfort Gel line of products were designed after extensive research and testing to maximize comfort and control with soft, ergonomically shaped grips. We designed our Corona Comfort Gel Extendable Bypass Lopper with a specially coated non-stick blade that slices through up to one and a half inches with no problem. Its lightweight steel core handle extends from 28 to 35 inches and the Comfort Gel Grips provide superior comfort cut after cut, no matter how large the job you have to complete. There's an innovative handle locking mechanism for easy extendability, and you won't feel stress and strain to your arms and shoulders thanks to the integrated shock guard bumper system. So when you visit any botanical garden around the country, like right here at the Ulbrich Botanical Gardens in Madison, Wisconsin, you notice how beautiful everything looks. Well, I have a secret for you. A lot of that is because of all the pruning that they do. Now, I don't know about you, but a lot of people I know are actually sort of afraid to prune. I call it prunophobia. They think that they're actually going to damage or hurt their plants, and they're probably not. In fact, the general rule of thumb is only take away a third at a time, and you're probably going to be just fine. Now, there are a number of reasons why you should prune. First of all, to increase the overall health and look of the plant. Now, the first thing you want to do when you get in there and you look around, you're going to find some branches that are probably crossing, but you don't want that because as those branches cross, they're going to rub the bark off and expose it to potential pests and diseases. So go ahead and find where those branches meet the trunk and cut out at least one of them. The next thing you want to look for are dead or dying branches. You certainly don't need to promote that or leave that around. Now, one of the obvious reasons to prune is to control the size and shape of the shrubs within your landscape so that they're all in balance. But here's something I want you to keep in mind, because whenever you make a cut, you're going to stimulate new growth. So be mindful of that whenever you decide on which one you're going to cut. So now that we know why we should prune and what we should cut back, the question is, when do we do that? Well, for general maintenance, such as taking out that dead or diseased wood or those crossing branches, do that any time of year because that's perfectly fine. But for the serious pruning, you know, when we're trying to control the overall shape and size of our plant or stimulate new growth, the best time to do that is in the winter months when the plants are dormant. The next best time is early spring to early summer. But we want to try to avoid making those serious cuts as we move into fall because as you've already learned, when we make those cuts, we stimulate new growth. And we don't want that tender new growth to be exposed to cold temperatures because that can open up the tree bark to pests and diseases, which we're trying to avoid. Well, I hope I've given you enough information to go out there and try pruning yourself. You're probably not going to hurt a thing. You're going to be surprised at how well your plants respond, and you're going to learn a whole lot in the process.